Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is shrinking a styrofoam cup. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a pressure cooker, a stove, and a styrofoam cup. A couple safety precautions. Do only under adult supervision. Never operate a pressure cooker without safety relief valve and never operate a pressure cooker without thorough knowledge of its operation. Never attempt to open a pressure cooker while it's hot. Improper use of the pressure cooker can result in serious injuries. So you're going to fill the uh, pressure cooker with about an inch or 2.54 centimeters of water. Um, in the first experiment, I'm doing three experiments. I'm going to put a styrofoam plate on first, and then I'm going to add the styrofoam cup upside down on the plate so it's not in the water. So this could take a different effect um, as I've never done it this way before. Um, after I've set, I set the stove for high for 10 minutes and when it's done, you'll remove it off the heat and you can either let it sit there for an hour or run it underneath uh, cold water right away and that will release the pressure uh, and then you're ready, ready to open it up. And uh, well, this is kind of the exact opposite of what I was expecting. So to the right is the original. And to the left is the uh, one that's been in the pressure cooker. It actually got bigger. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. So this second time, I'm going to do a second test here. I'm setting it on high again. This time I'm going to do it for 20, 20 minutes. Same cup, no styrofoam plate this time. So I'm doing it the traditional way of just putting the cup in the water upside down. And so it's inside the water. And I'm increasing the time to 20 minutes. And we'll see how... Uh, what comes of that uh, from there. So go ahead and seal your pressurized cooker there and you have it on high and I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. So test two is finished, uh, 20 minutes, um, and you can still see it's uh, still cooking away. So remove it from the hot stove, turn the stove off, and you can let it sit for one hour or you could run it underneath cold water to release the pressure, which I'm going to do, and then I'm ready to open it up. And once I open it up, well, this time is exactly what, kind of what I expected, but not. It completely crushed uh, that because of the pressure and reduced the size of the styrofoam. It's supposed to be in a single piece, still as a small, just shrinking it. This actually just crushed it in, so that's pretty amazing. So I'm going to do one more test with a smaller cup, but I'm going to explain the science behind it. So the science behind this is the results of the experiment is amazing, right? The styrofoam cup shrank at an amazingly small size, yet a perfect replica uh, in every way uh, undisturbed cup, which we'll see in the third experiment. Uh, because the first one kind of went wacko and went larger, uh, and I wasn't really quite sure why that happened. This incredible effect is due to the fact that styrofoam cups are blown up with gas. And when the gas is diffused out, the space is filled up with air. So this greatly enhances the in insulating uh, ability. So the volume of the air is greatly reduced by the high pressures of the pressure cooker. Here's a smaller cup I was talking about. That's what it's supposed to do, just like that. And as a result, much of the air is forced out, causing the cup to shrink down to a smaller size. Pressure cookers work by not allowing steam to escape, but build up a tremendous amount of pressure. Water thrush boils at temperatures much higher than 100 degrees Celsius. As a result, food can cook much faster. Pressure cookers are especially useful in high altitudes where the boiling point of water is low, lower due to the air pressure. A combination of high pressure and intense heat shrinks the styrofoam. So the same effects have been observed with styrofoam cups submerged in the depths of the ocean. So the intense pressure of the water compresses the air of the cup and drives it out. This is verification, as you guys know, should know, of Boyle's Law. Since an increase in pressure results in a de decrease in volume. I knew you'd remember. So these are the results back. This is the first one that went wacko. I don't know why it went much larger. But then the second time when I took it up to 20 minutes... Um, it actually crushed it like the depths of the ocean so and made it a lot smaller squeezing that gas out uh, And here's the uh, same one right here. You can see it's a lot smaller. I hope you enjoyed this video Remember to click thumbs up or to share if you like this and thanks for watching